this video, create UI buttons and add click event. How to create and use prefab. How to load next screen from a current screen name. Let's turn on end screen. I will rename canvas object to canvas UIs. All UI objects will be created inside this canvas UI. Next, create a UI button. Name it button restart. Adjust button size and positions. Then edit text. Name it Restart Level and set its size bigger. Duplicate to create an extra button. Name it Button Next. Move it to the right side. Edit Text to Next Level. Put to these buttons inside end screen object. These buttons are visible only if end screen is sold. Select button restart. Add new visual script in script. Name it button restart. We don't use this node, just remove them. For button click event, use on button click. If button restart is clicked, let's read now a message. Let's say restart level. Turn off end screen and press play to test it. Button click event worked. Next open folder scene. Change the current scene to level 1. Then open button restart script again. After click button restart, let's restart the current screen. Use lost screen with name. Enter the current screen level 1 into Rest play The game is restarted successfully Instead of enter name of every screen to load it Let's do this way to restart the current screen Game object get screen will get the current screen information Use screen get name to get its name. Press play to test it. If you press button restart, it will restart the current screen. Next, create a new visual script and script on button next. Name it button next. Do the same, create on button click and print a message if button is clicked. Let's print out, go to next level. Press play and test it. Next button work to. Let's create a new screen. Name it Level 2. Double click to open it. There is nothing now. You have to create everything again. 
Just get it. Open the level 1 screen. Create an empty object. Name it level 1 map. Remember to reset all the transform values. Then put everything into this level 1 map. Next, create a new folder. Name it Prefab. Then drag and drop object level 1 map into folder Prefab. Now you have one Prefab ready to use. After a Prefab is created, I recommend unpack the current object. If you edit or delete the Prefab, this object will not be affected. Next step, open screen level 2. Then open the Prefab folder again. Now drop this Prefab into the current hierarchy. Boom! You have all needed objects now. Rename it Level 2 Map and unpack it too to avoid it affected from the Prefab. You can see there are two main cameras. You must delete one. Then edit this map as you want. Everything even scripts imported and work well. Double click to open level 1 screen. If you click button next level, let's load the level 2 map. Open button next script to add more events. To load a screen, use screen load with name. You can enter level 2 to load the screen level 2 here. If you see this error, you need to add this screen to build settings. Select menu file, build settings. We have only one level 1 screen to be able to load now. Drop screen level 2 here to be able to load it. It worked now. Let's try to add new screen level 3. Add it to build settings to be able to load it. Open button next script. Create event to load the next level map without enter its name. First, use game object get screen to get the current screen info. Screen get name to get the name of the screen. Next step, I will get the number 1, 2, or 3 from its name. Use string replace to remove on text level. First input is the current string. Second input is the characters or text inside that you want to remove it. New value is characters you want to replace with. I will use debug log to see what we got from it now. Just remove text level and don't replace it with any characters. Click to test it. You have character 1 from level 1 screen name right now. We need to convert the character 1 to an integer number. Use integer pass to convert integer from a string. Next, increase this number by 1. Use a scalar to add two numbers. Press play. You got number 2 from level 1 screen name now. Last step, put the name level before this number. String literal for string input. To add a string with a number, use add generate. 
at the number after this name level. Then add the final name into screen name to load it. Press play to see the result. Map level 2 is loaded successfully. Continue and try to load the next level map 2. It worked perfect. Create new UI text. Name it level name. Edit its size and position. Next, add new visual scripting script on it too. Name it level name. We will load the level map name when the screen is loaded. To edit a text, use set text. We will get the text from the screen name. All done. The level map name is loaded correctly. I don't want to show it on the end screen. To fix it simply, put it above the end screen object. Level name object worked well. Let's make it to a prefab. Then put it into all other screens. All done. Enjoy your game. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.